www.beststrategies.com. Hello, this is Daniel Grady with a quick look at the markets for today, Monday, June 2nd. We have a pretty busy beginning of the month today, starting with Eurozone manufacturing PMI. Uh, at 7.45 we have uh, PMI from Italy. Five minutes later we have uh, from France and then at 7.55 we have a Germ uh, from Germany and then at 8 o'clock we have uh, PMI for the entire Eurozone so we could see some volatility in the Euro at, during that period. Then at 8.30 GMT we have a series of economic data from the United Kingdom including uh, PM manufacturing PMI and uh, consumer credit so we could see some volatility in the pound and of course in British uh, stocks. Then at 12 o'clock GMT, we have a uh, consumer, con uh, uh, consumer price index from uh, Germany. Inflation is a key element uh, for ECB policy decisions. We have an ECB meeting coming up later this week, uh, so we could see some significant volatility in the euro here. Uh, then at 1.30, uh, we have um, PMI ma manufacturing PMI from uh, Canada, which of course can generate some volatility in the Canadian dollar. And then we have uh, manufacturing PMI from the United States at 145, followed 15 minutes later by ISM manufacturing survey, which generates volatility in uh, equities. Uh, the S&P 500 on Friday moved to a, a new record high. Uh, over the weekend, uh, we had some uh, some positive PMI data out of China, which helped move Asian stocks higher today. This is despite um, China, Hong Kong, and New Zealand markets being closed today due to a holiday. Uh, going into the session today, S&P 500 futures are trading up by 0.1% um, at the beginning of the European session. Um, the euro, uh, as expected, uh, had a little correction on Friday and so far trading today has continued higher. Uh, it's still keeping within its range of uh, support which we had at 135.80 and we have resistance at 136.60. However, with the uh, wealth of data coming out for the eurozone, we could see some breakout above, uh, beyond those levels. Um, the pound has not made up its mind whether it wants to get back into this long-term channel or a breakout and move to the, uh, to the side here. We have it, it's still in the middle of a pretty broad range here between 166.80 and 167.90 at the moment. Those are support and resistance levels respectively. Uh, the yen, the yen weakened against the dollar uh, over the weekend, um, partially pushed by uh, the uh, data out of China. Um, and also which led to higher equities in, in Japan. However, it's still keeping within it, within, it, within sorry, it's relatively uh, broad range of 1,000, uh, sorry, 1,125 support and resistance at 102.25. And then finally we have gold, uh, gold which continued to move on the downside on Friday. It's coming, it's just above support which we have at 1,240. Above that we have resistance at 1,200 and uh, 65. Um, however, after this strong move on the downside, we're getting close to a uh, a short-term correction is is likely at the moment is likely um, in the short term. Um, however, if gold were to break through 1,240, we don't have much to hold it until 1,200. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and happy trading.